Hello friends, this is Vinay from iOS Interview. Today we will discuss a very most important topic related application lifecycle in iOS. So moving further on the video, you cannot connect the dots looking forward. You can only connect them looking backward. This is code by Steve Jobs. So the topics we will cover on this video are steps involved from device reboot to app launch execution states for apps mapping app states with code flow of lab, app life cycle from launch to suspended states the man run loop interview questions on app life cycle and summary so before further moving on the video if you did not subscribe my channel till now then subscribe it and press the bell icon for further important updates related interview question of ios development the app life cycle, the application life cycle constitutes the sequence of events that occurs between the launch and termination of application. It is very important to understand for all the iOS developers who wants smooth user experience. Steps involved from device reboot to app launch. When user turn on the phone no application are running except app which belong to os when user tap on your app icon springboard launches your app springboard springboard is the standard application that manages the iphone's home screen other tasks include starting windows server launching and boot strapping applications and setting some of the device devices settings on startup while spring, springboard animates your app's launch screen your app and necessary shared libraries will be loaded into the memory eventually your app begins execution and application delegate receives the notification App delegate is the application delegate object. It inherits the UI responder class and implements the UI application delegate delegate protocol. Man entry into iOS apps is UI application delegate. It is a protocol and you need to implement that into your app to get notified about user events such as app launch app goes into background or foreground app is terminated a post notification was opened etc ui responder class make app delegate have the ability to respond to user events and ui application delegate enables the app delegate to be an application delegate object to manage and respond to the life cycle of the application execution states for apps so friends these are the execution states for app number one not running state the app has not been launched or terminated by the system number two inactive state the app is entering the back foreground state but not receiving events active state the app enters the foreground state and can process event number four background state in this state if there is executable code it will execute and if there is no executable code or the execution is complete the application will be suspended immediately number five suspended state the app is in the background in memory but is not executing code and if system does not have enough memory it will terminate the app so friends in this figure you can understand how the application state will work so not running state it can be directly goes to suspended state or it can go to foreground state in foreground state it can go to inactive state to active state and can shuffle between these two states and it can also go from inactive state to background 
background state so now moving on next mapping app states with code so you can see the method name is application ui application did finish launching with options launch options ui application launch options key so this method is called when application is started and initiated root view controller is instantiated at this stage and other method is application did become active application ui application when the application enters the foreground and is active will invoke blue method this method usually we can restore the state of the ui in this method next method is application will resign active so this method is called and notified when the app change state from active state to inactive state usually save the status data of the ui in this method next method is application did enter background this method is called and notified when the app enters the background in this method we can save user data and release file or database resources next method is application will enter foreground this app goes into the foreground but is not yet active will invoke this method restore user data in this method next is application will terminate this method is called and notified when the application is terminated we can release resources in this method and we can also save user data in it have approximately five seconds to perform any task and return back if the method does not return before time expires the system may kill the process altogether so friends in this figure you can check the flow of f cycle from launch to suspended stage launch time user tapes on app icon after that it goes to man ui application man and load man ui file so parallelly you can see that there is code application there is code and app delegate method first initialization and restore ui state the app delegate method will finish launching with options and runs various method after that when it goes to final initialization the delegate method did finish launching with option be called after that when it will be active the app running state the delegate method app delegate method application did become active will be called and after that it goes to event loop and handle event when it switch to different app moving app from foreground to background so deactivate when it goes to deactivate the app foreground so application will resign active will be called when it goes to enter background application did enter background will be called and after background if it allowed to run if it goes to yes let it monitor the event and handle the event and if do it goes to no then app sleep suspended state and after yes in monitor event it can sleep when not handling events and application will terminate method will be called and you can switch the app or terminate app the main run loop and apps main run loop processes all user related events app delegates sets up the main run loop at launch time and uses it to process events and handle updates to view based interface main run loop executes on the app's main thread 
main thread is serial thread and this ensures that user related events are processed serially in the order in which they were received so friends we have learned enough and we will go now interview question on app life cycle so the first question is how background ios app gets resumed in foreground so when user launches an app that is currently in background the system moves app to the inactive state and then to the active state what are the steps involved when app enter to foreground after device rebooted so friends when user launches an app for the first time or after device reboot or after system terminate the app the system moves app to the active state next question is what are the steps involved when app moves from foreground to background so you can see in this figure if you click on home button when app is foreground the app delegate function execute in code when it goes to deactivate app the application will is inactive will be called and when it goes to app enter background application did enter background will be called next question is how can you opt out background execution you can explicitly opt out background execution by adding ui application exit exits on suspend key to applications info dot plist file and setting its value to yes when you opt out background state app life cycle will be between the not running inactive and active states and never enters the background or suspended states next question is which is the app state when device is rebooted the answer is not running state next question is when app is running but not receiving event in which state app is it so answer is inactive state next question is how an ios app responds to interrupts like sms incoming call calendar etc the answer is application moves to the inactive state temporarily and it remains in this state until the user decides whether to accept or ignore the interruption if the user ignores the interruptions the uh, application is deactivated if the user accepts the interruptions the application moves into the suspended state next question is what are the uses of background state so friends the answer is it gives opportunity to save any application data that will help user to relaunch the app when where they left app release may resources that don't need next question how can you add additional background execution time for your app so friends app can stay in background app can stay in background for few seconds and you can execute any code within that time you can call begin background task expire some handler void equal to nil method which requests additional background execution time for your app to extend the execution time of an app extension use the perform expiring activity with reason using method next question is how can you check maximum maximum amount of time available for app in background so answer is background time remaining helps to get maximum amount of time remaining for the app to run in the background the value is valid only after the app enters the background and has started at least one task using begin background task expiration handler in the foreground the next question is how can you debug your 
background task the answer is begin background task with name expirational handler for debugging background task so friends thank you for watching this video i hope about tutorial will help to clear the concept of application life cycle please comment below if you want download link for this ppt so i will provide it on description bag so friends thank you for watching this video and please like share and subscribe my channel for getting some like uh, uh, this knowledgeful videos thank you